Hi, so you're probably watching this a couple of weeks from now, but this is officially the first moving week. I'm going to be uh, bring all the essential items, like the bed, the desk, small cupboards and stuff like that, in on uh, February 1st and 2nd, uh, 2024. And today is the day we're going to be preparing everything to be moved out. So of course I've got this backpack almost completely packed in because I have to go to the exam uh, today for discrete mathematics. Uh, so here we can see the front area which contains our controller, power bank and charge and to charge it. I'm gonna put in my earbuds as well. There they are. Um What's over here? Well, of course, the mouse. Everything I would typically carry. Where is my Nintendo 3? I've actually got this some time ago and I'm having an absolute blast with Super Mario 3D Land from time to time. Where is a keyboard? Graphing calculator. This one I use at secondary and it works fine even though it's now in the exam mode and definitely needs to charge. And of course, there's the iPad charging cable. And this Ethernet cable and a charger for the graphing calculator over here. It has the old mini USB. I don't know anything else that really uses the original mini USB. There's the security cable for the laptop, which I'm going to be using. The charger for the 3DS. Flashlight, absolutely essential in the case of a power goes out. This can give quite a lot of light off. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't really come across, so I think I could get a better one of those. And there's an uh, iPad, actually, it goes in the small uh, of the two compartment on the back. And then the big one, of course, contains the laptop itself. Next up I have quite the assortment of study books to carry with me. I actually failed uh, to practice a little tip about these because I actually have a digital version of one book, one of them that I would need found through a WhatsApp group but everything else I bought on paper. Um, <coughs> I would definitely check which books I would need, really need, and if there are any digital versions. And there, of course, are the important notebooks. And, of course, I've got a box full of different types of spare batteries and screw terminals, so that I could, you know, in case the batteries run out. Uh, that's going to happen way earlier than you expect. Completely related to that, the battery tester. Really handy tool. Stapler and a bunch of. See if I have any more. Right, no. Spare staplers and a D stapler. As an alternative, you can use, um, I think, those little folders and this paper hole punch. I've got to have both of these. A set of drawing pencils is next. I really like drawing. As you can see on my Deviant Art, I've got one of those. And these are a great start. I do have some colour pencils somewhere in this house, but I'm not going to move those because they're coming at 16 uh, something, a very big set. So this at least great for some great scale. All purpose glue, never know when it comes in handy when it comes to repairing things. Um, now, out of this system, are only a couple of things that are going to move in this first round because it's really the essentials. First, external backup drive and this pocket calculator really handy um, I'm gonna move out my microphone I've used it a lot for calls and recording and it works really well for that next the main monitor 
and this little charge here for my laptop. I also can move the portable one, but this is so I need to have a fixed charging point. I'm not going to have a charging point in this house because it's really just a weekend retreat. Next is the multi port charger, it's two port for the earbuds and the iPad. The earbuds also, I'm going to move it. Charging pad right here. That's proven to be so handy. I just put my earbuds on there and automatically charges them. I don't really need to fiddle around with any plugs anymore. And of course, a power strip. One of Mummy's friends bought this uh, disinfecting hand towel. Even though Corona is pretty much over, it is still pretty nice to have because you can clean my hands without water. So we'll move it once right, especially because it's completely empty. And there's the makeup material as well. So this and with that the eyeshadow lip balm Red nail polish and the remover there for. And I'm also going to carry earplugs. These are essential when I go to a party to uh, control the sound going to my ears and therefore prevent hearing loss. So you can see two tail two chairs. So that's the tail I'm going to move out. I'm going to be moving one of these chairs along with me. Not both of them though. And then we go. And then all of a sudden. Um, the thrift store delivery service arrived with a special bed that mum bought for me which also is high enough um, to allow crates to be placed under it more of that in the tour video and here it is with the mattress put on and it slept pretty well actually in the first week two days in progress upgrade I've got the key for the house I've completely emptied out this table pretty much other than the power strip over here and I've started with, uh, you know, just moving out some of these small electronics. And this uh, monitor isn't the one I normally use. It looks the same, but the stand is broken. It's really hard to put this one over here, and the one whose stand is perfectly adjustable uh, goes along with the moving. Uh, I think so, might this phone hold, because it's pretty handy to have. Uh, maybe just out of arm's reach or something like that. Or at least it's a good place to put the phone when it's being used by a screen copy program. And pretty much everything else can say over here, except for this bucket, which contains a couple of pens and markers. All the rest of them, the majority are in the pencil holder. Disinfecting hand gel, makeup supplies and stuff like that. So this is what I'm going to bring down. And of course, along with uh, some bean bags or sitting bags, bottles of water, and this little weather station, and this mirror. I've also been able to make this little charging station uh, to my main house. So here I have a quick charger for my smartphone and a charger for my camera batteries which works. So you can see over here I've just been able to set up the router over there just been plugged in very temporarily and I'm currently running a firmware update I had to set a password and a new Wi-Fi SSID and stuff like that also almost completed the arrangement of the furniture like the bed, some boxes below that contain clothing and other things and of course the desk and chair also there are these apparently imperfect suction cups of which one of them lies over here I think the trick is at least mommy told me the trick is to use some uh, <coughs> and then of course um, just a week after moving out I've decided to let some friends of mine uh, see how the room looked like. Uh, here's just some video footage I took as well, just after everything was arranged properly. Again, within a couple of weeks, I'm going to be making the uh, actual main tour video, which is going to be about this lot, I think. But I'm really looking forward to the second stage of moving out. I was going to move out the computer and 
uh, maybe the tape deck and some other things so let's wait for that a little while so of my first five days that I've been uh, living in this room it's been all right pretty much uh, it is not as social as I thought so some people uh, already toured the partially finished interior <coughs> um, I'm going to move in some other things, uh, you know, the non-essentials now. So that's it for now. Let's just see what happens this weekend and next week. But, uh, see you next time. Bye bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.